Wingy Boxing IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're here at the Sam Bowen Jordan McCory card. I'm here with a very happy Sam Maxwell. Just got their 10th round stoppage over his uh, opponent, uh, Sabriri Sadiri. He, um, he, he made you work for that one, didn't he? Definitely, um, you know, it was a big step up from, from some of my fights that I've had. And um, I just got caught cold early and, and, and I, I took a while to get back going and I literally was down to the last round and luckily, uh, not luckily, but I stuck to the game plan. I listened to Danny, I started letting my right hand go and uh, he switched off for a little bit and I caught him. So. It is what it is. How bad was that third round knockout? How, how did you feel? It looked pretty bad to us, but once you was up and got going again, you seemed to be all right. Yeah, I just don't remember. I just remember being on my knee and Danny saying, stay, stay on your knee. He counted seven. Then he said, get up. I did what he said. Got up and uh, just tried to keep my hands up and move, move off. And um, to be honest, he wasn't setting up his shots really. He was just throwing winging bombs. So as long as I kept my hands up, I was safe. He wasn't, he wasn't a clever boxer. He was just winging him in. And I was just made a few mistakes. And that's why he was catching me. But when I switched on and when I tried to keep my hands up, uh, uh, I managed to block most of the shots or slip them or duck them. But uh, it was not by, by far not even close to the best me. And I'm disappointed in my performance. But a win is a win. That's the end of the day. If I came out and I lost, then I'd be, I'd be gutted. But I got the win. And uh, I just build from this. And I go on and my next fight's going to be stronger. It's like one of those fights, really, where you've shown you can box. You've shown you've got power. And you've shown the heart. I've shown I got up. the minerals, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I couldn't, have, couldn't have asked for a worse first three rounds. Um, got caught heavy. Some of them, my coach was saying it was, it was, a, it was a, I don't remember it, but he was saying it was a big shot. He was lucky to get up of it kind of thing. But it showed I've got the minerals, I've got the, got the heart and the fitness to get back up. And I carried the power to the last round. And when, when I get my boxing right, I know I'm a million times better than that. So, but it was a brilliant, brilliant test and showed me where I need to, need to improve and I need to start fighting better opponents because that was a, a big jump up for me and it, and it showed. Talk me through the first round knockdown. <sighs> Wingy, well, I don't know. <laughs> I just pulled back in a straight line, I think I'm a chin up a little bit. I stuck to my game plan, I just thought, I've got to win the next round, I've got to win the next round, I've got to win the next round and uh, that's all I could do. My coach was, was pushing me to, to work harder and but it's, it's trying to find a balance of working hard and also watching out for a dangerous uh, opponent who's swinging shots at the same time. So it was, it was a good experience. It's one of those ones where you can take away and learn from it. Definitely, you, that's all I can do. Forward. Like I was watching boxing yesterday and Barry Jones was commentating and uh, he said sometimes it's not about looking good when you win, it's about the main important thing is to get that win. And I think that was me today. I showed I got the minerals and I, I my fans, this is the first time my fans have actually got to see uh, me box over one minute, two minute rounds. So this was a 10 round fight and I put, put on a show, but I don't want many more fights like that. And, and, and um, I don't want to, my coach knows I'm better than that. Everyone who supports me, my team, Frank Warren, T MTK, they know I'm better than that. So I want to show it. I'm just glad I got that knockout in the last round though. It shows I, it shows I got the power and I wanted it so bad. It meant so much to me. What do you think your mate O'Hara Davis would think of that fight? He'll be saying, nah, easy work. He want me now, he'll <laughs> knock me out, he's saying, but. It is what it is. I'll go back to the drawing board and um, all I can do is improve. Makes a fight, possibly, you could say. Yeah, he'll, he'll be confident now. He'd more like, make it more likely to happen, but I'll be better. That's, not, that's, that's probably the worst me, so I'm going to get better. I'm going to keep improving. And of course, I'm the new WBO European uh, uh, super lightweight champion. Yeah. Nice Stop feeling. Dreams. Stop for Dreams, my first titles. Everyone, every boxer dreams of winning a title. And uh, I've just done it today. And this, this, this night will uh, live with me forever for the rest of my life. And uh, it's a mass, uh, massive. And all my family and my friends are here watching me. Brought about 80 people here. And uh, I'm just so happy. Good stuff. Cheers, Wingy. Sam, thanks for speaking to Wingy Boxing IFL TV. I'll let you go and enjoy your win. Congratulations, brother. Cheers, Wingy. Thank thanks you. for me.